Bill's back. Is I my mic on? Hopefully, I, I don't know. I believe both were muted. So <laughs> really? I don't know how long they've been muted. I think I muted them when I when we were both. No, no mics are being used. No way. So it's possible. So uh, JPX's match didn't have commentary? It's quite possible, yeah. It's fine, because I cried. <laughs> but I wanted to hop on for a sec, because this is that big house rematch, the, the match we were talking about earlier. Right. Yeah. Right, so so Bark won this one. When was that? Uh, 2019. 2019, okay. Big house 9, I believe. So that was the same year as Inca Fest then, huh? I think so, yeah. So and Prince was also at that with yeah. with Bar. Yeah, that's when he was sponsored by Panda. So I think he was able to travel to right. a couple events per year over here. He right, and now he's sponsored by Penis. <laughs> yeah. And gets that shield pressure, but looking pretty good here. And again, oh, Prince, this. Prince only one other person to take a game off him, and it looks like it's about to be two. And a pretty commanding uh, first game there from Josh Brody. Prince. Is Prince going to go Falcon? And he flirts with the Falcon just to scare him a little bit. And goes back to the Yosh, the Red Dragon. So I asked the Japanese players, uh, I was asking them, I said, when you're in Japan, how do you guys decide who gets to be the Red Dragon? Yeah. And you know what they said? Prince gets to be Red Dragon. <laughs> He's the OG, uh, seniority. Yeah. That's great. I thought they were maybe going to have some weird, like, rock, paper, scissors type thing going on. It's all about respect. Yep. And I, and I guess when they all come here, you know, they all sport the, the red. Oh yeah. I get so it's 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 funny that they're still warning like that they'll sport the red dragon when that's not the one that they usually play back home. Well, you know? is it only in the ditto that they? Yeah, well, play in it? the ditto, so, I guess. Like, yeah. So I guess players. they still play it versus. I guess they'll still play versus Wario and stuff. Unless it's character and color locked in Japan. Maybe, maybe oh, they're color like, locked. <laughs> yeah. Then two red dragons have to play against each other. No, no, you're not allowed to. <laughs> Prince, oh, once Prince, one person has it? Yeah. Prince only, there's the only one. allowed four Yoshis in the tournament? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I guess now with Remix we have some others. 
and trying to whiz robe him is able to parry but not able to follow it up. He's doing a lot better this game though. And there we go. A, a, a half stock lead. Which for Yoshi, this could be over instantly or he could take another 100% without right. dying. And trades with the downer and up air. Bark. It's funny, it's always on the table now, these p these Pikas, and uh, I, s I see it a lot more now where people, uh, I guess everyone just kind of started to catch on that the grabbing at the ledge is a great way to just kind of combat Yoshi's armor. Uh, yeah. Grabbing at the ledge of side plat and, and side. Uh, and great angle. Prince throws an egg to cover high, tries to cover low himself, but Bart just sneaks in. I like the reverse jump there. Up air, not gonna kill. Egg throw out, cause why not? Still got some time before the rat comes back down to earth. And the backer takes it, 3-1 lead here. Let's see. Bark. And Prince, maybe figuring something out, but Bark getting uh, a nice stock of invincibility, bros. Of course, Yoshi's a little bit weaker uh, once he hits that uh, high percent threshold. And wow, two up smashes in a row instead of grab. Look at that, Bark trying to Give us a show. Yeah, he's really trying to make up for lost ground here. Just trying to get as much damage as he can from every interaction. Oh. I and that, that where Prince runs off the edge and then uses like double jump backwards, you know, it's, it's a double edged sword of uh, sometimes it really helps you. Out. Oh, he tries to float that Nair out to I catch the up. that Nair was going to work, yeah. Oh, Prince has gotten so much mileage this tournament off of a. Uh, he rolls kind of behind them and then jabs. I like that that tech for And Yoshi. uh yes, I've seen it so many times in like other opportunities. I gotta answer this call real quick. Alright, don't mute it. Oh, and he wants to get that down beat before the tech comes out. Because he knew it was going to be close and he's not able to get it. Dash attacks that ledge, but enough time where he's able to punish side plat as well. Doesn't dash attack forward this time. And good thing for Bar. And there we go. Prince taking game two. We got a nice game three matchup between the United States. And Japan, the Sunrise Kingdom. Three, two, one, go. Oh, where's the perf the perfect land up smash? Is what, is what uh, Prince needed there, but instead he forward airs him on the plat, tries to get a check chase. Oh, wow, the armor extends all the way there. We got a quick little teeter noise. And oh, what an amazing forward air from Ledge from Prince. He wanted, he was reading the tech back, uh, or roll left. Dragon Ball Z, and oh. Uh, and wow, the, yeah, that up air is still not breaking, even at 150. Oh, what a beautiful forward air from Ledge. It's two in a row, and he's rewarded with the stock. What an amazing forward air to just cancel all of his upward momentum and land on stage right away. Catches the invincibility bros. There we go. That's a that's a forward air. He didn't have enough percent there to perfect land up smash. And just barely doesn't get that forward air. Uh, Could have punished that landing. Bark with that grab at ledge. Thought he was maybe going to grab again on the side plat. Oh, Wispy. Is he going over to Wispy? Nope. He did back up a little bit. Oh, armors the up smash, but not able to land. Two forward airs we saw where it's just like the, the hitbox of these parries are crazy. The, the hitbox of the forward air kind of ends 
or, or, or almost doesn't begin. And when you land uh, in the earlier frames of the forward air, there's no hitbox really that kind of comes out. Yeah. And catches him again during Invincibility Bros, just a little bit scared playing back, and then Prince is kind of delaying his uh, his approach from up top. And that was close. Just barely gets there. Almost gets a, a bunch of nares. Spark uppies out. A reset neutral yep. and a beautiful yep. combo. That'll do it. To take it. 3-2. Oh, this is best of five? Hell no, yeah. I, I don't think it is, though. Uh, Eddie was saying that in the official rule set online, it said top 16. So earlier... Oh, hey, we are 30, not... Top 32 winners is top 16. We are not mad about it. And so now two okay. warm prints. I was just repeating what I heard, but I'm down for it. I want more best of five. These are some awesome matches. Prince now up 2-1. And we saw some adjustments there. I mean, Prince Prince having some success after respawn, you know? Uh, we saw two stocks, 50% of all the stocks in the game, taken right after he came down from that platform. And Park has not been touched yet, so that good thing for him because that forward air now doesn't kill. Yeah, and uh, Prince did get a little bit of extra credit and off it, though. And this... Beautiful. Can't follow up. Oh, and if he had just down there... I love these eggs to force certain options. So, no, so we're seeing now... We're seeing now Prince kind of use the egg to cover... Uh, to cover ledge, right? Oh, wants to re-tech with that forward air. But we might... I wonder if we'll see. We'll see as reminiscent of uh, when Prince played uh, Mario Gloss. Sometimes he covers ledge himself, and then he throws an egg up to top plat yeah. to cover that. And Bark now with a two-stock lead of his own. It's taking a moment. Yeah, so using fair to come up from ledge during a get up from ledge bros, as I call it. It's a totally <laughs> different game. And there you go, still using the eggs to cover ledge. Oh, and he forward smashes, not there in time. Yeah. Could have maybe punished that shield or that shield up top. The weak back air won't do it. And look, spacing, yeah. A lot of times he's spaced without even throwing out those aerials, you know? He's just hopping in place. Seeing what you're gonna do. Crap. Oh, big damage for Prince. And yeah. Oh, fortunate it went the other way. And we see Wispy here. Interesting trade, and now Prince with stage control. Yeah, that should break. We got ourselves a shield break. Yeah. Optimal. He knows his stuff. Prince cleaning it up, you know, bringing it back. Tide stock, 69%. Zero, looking for some cookies, but none left. <laughs> What can he do here? <laughs> and, he out of the and he pulls Oreos out of his pocket. Oreo minis. Ooh. And Prince, what a beautiful fade. And using that wind as he gets up I to like get the immediate double jump. I knows he loses about stock. That before. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You can also use it to kind of just fall right back down the ledge, which a lot of people do as well. Yeah, I do that. But and here we go. Pikachu at 1%. This is the this that's the Yoshi standard on Pika. You land one forward air underneath that top plat. You get that up air right as you're landing on top plat, and then you can do what you just saw. Here we go. We see another one. Is Prince going to steal this? Oh. And he does. The very last game, 3-1. Pulls that win out of his back pocket. He is the Prince, His Majesty. Paraba nodding in approval. And uh, 